Welcome to HortTube. My name is Jim Putnam, and in this video, I'm going to be planting these three autumn bonfire encore azaleas. These are repeat blooming red azaleas, which are really spectacular. It's uh, October 21st, I think, when I'm shooting this today. They're going to be continuing to bloom well into November. I dug these three holes with the intent of doing a video that was just going to be fall is the best time for planting. And then I went over to the garden center just to grab something to plant over here. And this is on the edge of the woods and it really kind of screams for azaleas or camellias or something that wants a lot of morning sun and then would be in the shade in the afternoon. So azaleas are absolutely perfect. I had gotten these autumn bonfire azaleas into the garden center twice already this season and they just disappear immediately as soon as they land. And I got some more yesterday, so I grabbed them for myself. This is the newest Encore azalea and it's actually red. This is a azalea that blooms three times a year with these vivid red flowers. This one's supposed to get about three feet tall and be wider than tall. These are so new, I haven't really seen one mature in the landscape, but the way they're growing in the container, they are slightly wider than they are tall. So that's exactly how they're gonna grow in the landscape in all likelihood. I'm gonna plant these three right here, and then I'm gonna add some Autumn Angel, which is a white one, over here to the right and over here to the left. And I think it'll really make this red pop even more to have those white ones. I've been in the green business for 30 years, and I'm gonna tell you right now, this plant is going to sell out very quickly every single time it comes into flower, every single place that anyone is trying to sell them. And so if you see this plant and you're interested in it, this one's called Autumn Bonfire. All the Encore Zellias are Autumn something, but Autumn Bonfire is the best red I've seen in a repeat blooming azalea so far. These things are just absolutely spectacular. Like I said, I had already dug these holes. I've done a bunch of planting videos recently. I'll link some of those in the description to give you more detail on actually planting. I poured some pine bark soil conditioner on the soil that I pulled out of the hole. That's fantastic for these azaleas. My soil doesn't drain all that well. I've got some clay here. That bark prevents this clay from recompacting, does a good job with the drainage. It's actually what most of these plants are grown in is some sort of bark uh, mix like this. If you had very sandy soils and you were concerned that your azaleas were gonna dry out or whatever you were planting was gonna dry out a lot, you could use some peat moss or something like that. So anyway, why is fall the best time for planting? And if you have following my channel, I've been putting up planting videos for the last week as fast as I can go. I'm in the middle of October, right through into December here in zone 7B. I am just gonna just keep planting all my woody trees and shrubs as fast as possible. There's really only one main reason, and it's the fact that it's just lower maintenance after I get them in the ground. The days are shorter, so the water's not evaporating as quickly, so giving them water lasts longer. The plants are starting to slow down a little bit. These azaleas are still in full bloom, so I'm gonna keep a little closer eye on these than some of the other things I've planted recently because they'll, they'll be using a little more water right now. But most of these things, I can put them in the ground, water them in well. I'm in an area that we get kind of regular rainfall, so if it rains once a week the rest of the way, I probably don't need to do anything. I will just check them once a week. Even though the air temperature is dropping, the soil temperature stays pretty moderate. If you're in like zone 6B down to 10, the soil temperature really never freezes, you know, other than maybe the top inch or two. Never really freezes very deep, so the roots can continue to grow all winter long and get themselves established. Also, you don't have to fertilize them when you put them in this time of year. In fact, you don't fertilize them when you put them in this time of year. So basically, you're digging a hole, using a soil amendment, plopping your plant in the ground, <laughs> tamping it in, watered it in well and checking on it in a week. And that's kind of it in the fall. And if it needs to be watered again, drown it. And then in the early spring, late winter for you, whatever that is, for me, it would be right around the 1st of March. Uh, I would hit all these things that I'm planting with a slow release fertilizer to get them jump started in the spring. But they'll be so anchored in the ground at that point in the early spring that I'm just not gonna have to do a lot of watering on them most of next year. Cause like I say, I'm in an area where we get probably four inches of rain a month is our average. And it's probably, that's, so that's about an inch a week. So like I say, there really is only one reason and that is because I have to do so little other than dig the hole, plop them in the ground and water them. Now you heard me say fall is the best time for planting. I do not want you to take away that all other times are bad for planting or that fall is the only time for planting because that's just not true. I did a how to plant plants in the summer video uh, a couple months ago. Uh, I'll link that in the description of this video. You definitely can plant 12 months out of the year. It's not a problem. 
What I do though is I say, if I'm planting 50 of something, I probably want to do that in the fall because that's gonna be the least amount of maintenance for me to maintain 50 pieces and to drag a water hose to 50 pieces or set up an irrigation system for 50 pieces, that kind of thing. I probably gonna do that in the fall. But if you're planning on planting three plants or five plants or seven plants, plant them on whatever weekend you're available to do it. Um, like I say, follow my instructions in the summer planting video. Um, I'll do additional videos and planting in the spring when that happens. But I don't want people sitting around waiting if you're only planting five or seven pieces or something like that. Get out there, dig the holes, get them in the ground. You may have to do a little more watering on them or a little more pruning on them depending on the time of year you're putting them in the ground. But fall is the best time to plant if you're planting large numbers of plants. Anyway, I'm going to pull these out of the containers. That pine bark soil conditioner will get mixed in with the soil as I put it in. I'm just going to step around them. I'm leaving azaleas up a couple inches. That's kind of important when you're planting azaleas, camellias, rhododendrons. Leave them up just a little bit. Mound the soil up to the edge of where you've left them up. And then I'm going to pull this old pine straw I had back around them. And then I got a new bale of pine straw back here. I'm going to spread that around. In a couple weeks, I'm going to come back and put these white azaleas on each side of these as soon as I have some time and really make these autumn bonfire azaleas pop. So thank you very much for watching my video, and if it was helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also comment below with any questions you have about planting.